thinking of the meal of a king it's such as a dinner party in a palace. We often imagine high-class dishes from around the world, which are not easily eaten by the common people, served on expensive tableware. Okay then, how it was the meal the emperor actually are in daily life. The daily life of the imperial family is not reported to the general public in detail. However, I will talk about Emperor Shoa, whom a state of his daily life has been leaking little by little since many years have passed by after the demise of the crown. He is a grandfather of reigning emperor. Here is a video that you can see how he was. I guess you are watching TV. What TV programs are you usually watching? The Imperial Meal is prepared in the Imperial Household Agency building, and is transported by chartered car to the Fukiyagi Imperial Palace where the Emperor is living, and then it's finished in the kitchen inside the Imperial Palace. It seems that Emperor Shoah's breakfast was decided to be Western food almost every day. For lunch and dinner, Japanese food and Western food were alternated, and snacks such as snacks at 3 o'clock were rarely eaten. About two weeks ago, a menu for the next week was prepared and shown to the chief medical doctor and Her Majesty the Empress to check for nutritional balance problems. At dinner parties and events, table were with the chrysanthemum emblem, which is a symbol of the imperial family, was used. But in everyday meals of the emperor, ordinary table were similar to the one ordinary people were using at home were used. The actual breakfast was toast or oatmeal with salads, hot vegetables, fruits, and milk. And this was standard. Japanese food for lunch and dinner is rice with wheat mixed, and side dishes such as grilled salted soy, omelette, boiled spinach, pickles, and miso soup. In the case of Western food, for example, hamburger steak with cooked vegetables, soup, bread, salad, etc. were common. In any case, he was eating the same meal as ordinary people. When a guest came, sashimi and tempura were added to the Japanese food, which sometimes made it a little luxurious. In addition, seasonal ingredients and special products from local region were sometimes delivered as gifts from the people, mainly local businesses and organizations. However, the meals are sometimes only curry rice, katsudon, and Chinese-style fried rice, so it looked like a meal for the common people. It is said that all the cooks who were in charge of cooking for Emperor Shoah said Emperor's meals are more simple than ordinary people. As for the amount of food, Emperor Shoa strongly kept in mind not to eat until full stomach, and he never overate. How are the ingredients of the imperial family procured? Vegetables, dairy products, and meat are procured from the imperial household agency's facility called Goryeo Ranch. The fish were procured from a general fishery company in the Tsukiji market in Tokyo. The rice was not special rice. 
but standard rice of about 3,000 yen for 10 kilograms, which is the same as what ordinary people eat, was procured from a general rice store in Tokyo. How was Emperor Showa's likes and dislikes for foods? He was educated to live a simple life from an early age and never said about the food he wants to eat. However, from the testimony of the staff who saw the tableware after eating and the state during the meal, it seems that the emperor was not good at spicy foods and foods that are too much hot. Also, he liked greasy foods such as eel, tempura, and sukiyaki, or noodles such as sudan and soba. As for fish, not only high-class fish such as sea bream and flatfish, but also sori and sardines were preferred. He also loved any kind of potatoes, especially sweet potato was the best favorite, he ate it without peeling skins. In addition, whenever Emperor Sho were visiting local regions, he was very pleased with the local cuisine that he can hardly eat while living in Tokyo. Emperor Showa, a biologist, told newspaper reporters that he had ever tried to eat sea anemones, sea slugs, aplysia, and other ingredients that no one would eat, saying, I tried it because it's eatable. Blowfish is a poison fish but is a high-class fish that Japanese people love. However, it is a famous story that Emperor Showa never ate blowfish for his lifespan. As a biologist, he was argued that if you cook the poisonous part correctly, no need to worry about the poison so much, and there was a big discussion with the chief medical doctor until 2 a.m. In the end, he followed the opinion of the doctor which is I can't allow it unless an antidote has been developed. Alcohol was not suitable for the emperor's constitution, so he only drank a little in greeting toasts such as dinner parties and ceremonies. The meals of Emperor Shou were always prepared for seven to eight people. This was not for poison check, but for the chief medical doctor and cooking staff to recheck volume of the seasoning and nutrition after the emperor's meal. We hope that you feel Emperor Shoa lived a simple life far from luxury through the video so far. It has been passed down to both his son, His Majesty the Emperor Emeritus and his grandson His Majesty the Emperor. One day, His Majesty the Emperor Emeritus showed, after my death, simple tomb is preferred as much as possible. However, the Japanese people were strongly against it, no matter how much he wished because he is the symbol of Japan. His Majesty the Emperor Emeritus loves the Japanese people and the Japanese people love him so much. Very nice relationship will go on forever. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Next video coming soon. See you.